Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is the Council. And today, we're going to check this out here on our live streaming show, weeknights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Daylight Time. Uh, anyways, if you uh, happen to see this as a replay or you want to watch it on YouTube, you can go to The Rev Plays, all one word. That is my YouTube channel where the majority of my content is. Got over so, oh, close to 1,600 videos now if you all want to check that out. But we talking a bit. Let's get on with the game. I do not know. The fires and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ow. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Does it now? You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchert. Von Borchert. Mm hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. We're trusting Please, her. Be my guest, mother. Hmm? Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. <gasps> no. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Wow. Personally, threat my mom like that, I would have like dumped some acid. I would have took his little concoction and dumped it on him. But one month later, January 20th, 1793, Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. And this is where most of the story takes place. If I remember correctly, and as always, there's a link down below, and there will be a link in the description on the YouTubes, so you guys can check it out. See if you want to grab it. It is the first of five episodes by Big Bad Wolf Studio. Currently twenty nine ninety nine, I think, for all of them. Sure, what it looks like on its um, sales page. Well done, mother. 
You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? Yes. You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council. Ah, the Mad Ones, a family reunion. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost yeah, mystical object that you just can't live without. Well I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is but think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Horn. Well, how very amusing. Whoa. Perhaps we have some common the interest, there. Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Um, well, let's say business. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, <coughs> consider yourself fortunate, young there man. There we go. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Mm. And you, Sneaky. Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Then why bring it Come, up again? Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. Oh, yeah. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh are you all right? When this happens in a video game. And by the way, folks, I haven't played this at all. We're doing a blind live playthrough here. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, no, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay. Down. <gasps> well, that's a little weird trick you thrown in on things. Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. Still can't do blood, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Keep gotta it. be hard from a developer standpoint. Are you better? A little bit. A little I'm bit. Fine. Thank you, love. Don't worry. 
It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am mm. I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Ooh, letters, invitations. No? Want to grab them? Okay. Hmm. So this is an interesting one, and like I said, we are uh, um, haven't played it. So what I was thinking, what we would do is we'll do the next couple of indie contacts. Oh, Louis, with this. during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Aha, okay, so obviously, so politics, politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, diversion, occultist, manipulation, occultism, erudition, okay, sciences, and sub, ooh, subterfuge, okay, I think that's something, questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic, ooh. Man, I am torn between these two. Huh. All right. So what we'll do, folks, is if you would like to uh, pick something different than what I pick, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I think we're going to go with the occultists. Okay. Well, we have three available pull points. Occultist unlocks the what I read before. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. And oh boy, look at that. Yeah. So it looks like it takes four, or some of them take. What? Why'd they do that? See, because I'm looking over here, I see three, 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 three. Here, I see four, 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 four. Let's see, what is this over here? All right, we got questioning. Vigilance. Psychology. Oh, so it looks like... If you, oh, no, no, that's just one of them. Okay, so... It, and all it's saying is it unlocks dialogue options, huh? What is this one? Manipulation? Get people... Well, act in your own... Okay, fine. There we go. We'll validate that bad boy. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases... Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me. Okay, I, was I don't actually know helped her on that story. Case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No, not at all, so lie to her. No, not at all, sorry. Ah, it's lie to her. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. 
Remind me of how we met. All right, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in the effort points. Okay. So, pretend to be hurt for her not believing you. Oh, we can't do that one. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten over that stage by now. Ooh. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I, I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm hurt to see that you're still at this stage of testing me, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. Oh, I really didn't want to pain. hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Let's oh. go with that, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Right, time to go to the manor. Your skill allows you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportun That's weird. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out. Oh, hey, what's this? I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited oh my God, I cannot say it. Vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you Hold on a second here. Okay, character. Talents, traits, inventory, journal. Here we go. Uh, Emily Highborough is an English duchess close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origin. Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding. That some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister William Pitt to take her as private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. Well, yeah, if the girl's knocking boots, working her way up the chain, you know what I'm saying? As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because, for nothing in the world, she would miss one of these famed receptions. Huh, that's it, huh? And that's us. And we don't know anything about him. So, okay, immunity to logic. Oh, God. Know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlocked conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements view all talents in the menu tab <sighs> okay so talents oh oh geez so let's see occult mastery ending an opportunity okay reach level three it says alchemist well I get an extra effort point when I use royal jelly okay I gotta find royal jelly So basically, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty, yeah, we're not far enough along yet to have that kind of fun. Oh, hello. I will take that because I want the royal jelly. So then comes the question, was there any, oh, there's something else. I was going to say. Honey, the remedy of the gods. 
Hmm. What if we get health potions or anything like that? All right, there's the run button. All right. So y'all scream at me and let me know if I miss something. As always, the more you guys can help, the more fun we're gonna have. So, like I said, I'm seeing we just do a uh, playthrough of this here on Indie Conduct for a while. See how far we get for the next couple of nights. Good uh -oh. evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. Hmm. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Mm, that's our only option. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. Hmm. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother. Sarah de Richet. Well, hand it over, I son. I orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. You know what? Let's use the manipulation to see if it works. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir... My orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? Nice. No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Oh yeah, this is, is gonna be a drama-filled one. <laughs> you must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh no, nothing. Cool. Oh, what is that? Wooden floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm. Oh, what do we have here? It's locked. Hmm. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Well, hello. Let's pick the lock. Duh. Ah, there we are. We are definitely going to want to see if we can upgrade that skill. Man, that cost a lot. Ooh, hello. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. Mama was holding a gun. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. 
just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. More royal jelly. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Handkerchief, Emily's, Mortimer. I wonder how you get these things to fire off. Oh, that's how. Duh. Push down on the director pad on the uh, direct on the directional thumb pad. Oh my god, get the words out. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm. <laughs> the powder's wet. Not surprising given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Amber fragment. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Oh, that's good. A fragment of amber. Nice. Hmm. Not seeing anything else here. We should probably head up to the manor and speak to Lord Mortimer. Yep. A wooden floorboard. Nope, won't let me do anything. Screw it. Nope, oh, what is that? Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. <sighs> Somebody replaced it recently. Looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. <clears throat> Won't let me rip it out. Oh well. Yeah, it's not gonna go. Ah, shit! Ah, it's not coming up. <gasps> you said a dirty I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Yeah. The only way we're going to do that is if we uh, we got to find a tool. And I didn't see anything down here. So the question would be, are things... Oh, I didn't see that before. What is this? The barrel's been broken for quite some time. Oh, yeah. Now, look. There's a bunch of other stuff shining that wasn't shining before. What the hell? A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Um, gimme, gimme. Yeah. Looks Take like a it. bar from an old gate. Take it! This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. Where are you going to put it, dude? Where'd you put it? Seriously, that is a nice, tight-fitting suit. Where'd you put that bar? Shit. Okay. Yep. More stuff is shining. Weird. So Some you... rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. So I, I guess you go back and forth... And the see what pops up. Nothing special. Anything else? Oh, wait a minute. What was this? Collector coins. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find a use. Oh, here we go. Now we can do it. Let's see what's hidden inside. Really? Let's Man. look. I was looking to see if we have any more points. Um, Carl Coy. 
It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Hmm. The envelope has ideogram. Okay. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Oh, okay. Damn it. I haven't the slightest idea what it says. Probably a Dutchman. Name ringing the bell? Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Riche. Hmm? You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Oh, damn it. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance, Spanish, I'd say, but I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Really, so we, we, we took it, but it showed us putting it back into the thing. Now the question is, can we come back to this? Okay. Because as we get higher points, inside. might want to run down and check it out here. Let's look. Because I wasn't done looking at stuff either. Okay. Oh, no. No, not that. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. <sighs> okay. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Ooh. Apparently, this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is influential enough to write to the Pope in person. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna have a little more royal jelly. Well, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, wait a minute. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay, let's go back here. Where was that thing? Oh, there it is. Because we must get all of our clues now, shan't we? Use the rusty iron bar. Get some. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. Hmm. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? <laughs> hmm. 
manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. A little food. So... Any more points by chance? No. No. Is it traits? What do we got? Charismatic presence. There we go. Mysterious. Cosmographum. Come. Why can't I use it? Toiletries, oh, well. a small key, and some kind of black powder. Okay. An iron key completely rusted. Take it. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. This just gets better and better. Hmm. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. Hmm. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? Take right. it. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. The Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Well, yeah, let's translate. You don't it. know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that one. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Is it going to let us walk around outside or are we going to just get pushed right inside? Probably pushed inside. Looks like we can use a uh, golden elixir to uh, erase our traits. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? <laughs> I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Dice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, okay. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something what to do, do with her right disappearance. Corner. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. 
Confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of your story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Hmm. Uh, let's, let's be nice. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Yeah. Right. Oh, I cool. shall see her tomorrow, then. Yeah, you can't by the directly way, go after it. I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son. I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Hmm. Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The hmm. mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Let's see. You know what? Let's use our skill. Pretend I don't want it. Look, you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do Ooh, is just back. to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Yes. I mean, yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm. What to do? Can you see a solution? Come on. Just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot run the risk alone. I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. Yes. Bingo. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? All right, confrontation, last step. For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right answer or you have no blunders left. Okay. Um... I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. 
Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> oh, we're gonna look at it. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Okay, so we got the group over there. Oh, what is that? Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Yeah, that is an interesting choice. What about this one? Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Ooh, getting this one's hard. Lord know. Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Hmm. Alrighty. What's next? Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Fall of the Dam by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Damn. Ooh. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in conversations. You cannot carry more than five. Ooh. We're going to want to use that. When we go talk to that group, perfect time to use it, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we want to go quite upstairs yet. A book to sign in, maybe? Nope. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Opened Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Hmm. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Because we're going to keep it one way or another. <clears throat> Oh, somebody's in the middle of a chess game. I oh, thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of oh, America. Oh, damn. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. You have used four consumable items during a single quest or consumed a noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Use the golden elixir to cure. Yeah. Oh, crap. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when He's Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. Hmm. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Um... At the risk of disappointing Mama. you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. 
His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, oh. or vegetable secrets, really, dude? or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I Jeez. understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> True, though. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. When the time limit is over and it answers automatically, select to check the dialogue button. Okay. Oh crap! Good evening, Wasn't my fast friends. enough. Okay, so oh, I got to make shit. sure in those situations That's I go quicker. That's the name of right. my vision. An urgent case <clears throat> has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up. Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal Shh. is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Let's see what Washington has to say. Yeah. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Who Do can exactly you say I'm a Yankee? You please, young man. An American. I want to hear what our... One of our founding fathers Me, has to Thank say. you for staying. Just like you, Ooh. when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And oh. President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. In a if big I can room help with their voices away at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Let's start with that one. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. Mm. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar oh, okay. with my mother. How did you come to know her? When did you see her the la for the first time? Um, let's do that one. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Fifteen years ago. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. 
Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Um, let's see, the mysteries that surround us or the Golden Order. Let's go mysteries. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Uh, or convincing again. people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. Hmm? What was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Let's see, do you know others in the Order? Do you think? And what if Mother has left the island? Uh, do the others in the Order know? Let's try that. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. Hmm. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Show him the book. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Inquisitive, okay. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Uh-oh. Well, that was a Careful. quick chow. Back. Ooh, that chick is all jacked up. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> what? You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gagnereau. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. Oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who the artist of that painting there is. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. And the artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Oh, Not shit. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. 
Hmm.